Hello everyone, today we are going to be talking about the differences between relative cell referencing and absolute cell referencing. Now a quick overview is that relative cell referencing is where that the cell that you are referencing changes. When in absolute, a case arises where we need to keep one cell the same um, throughout the entire course of whatever it is we're trying to accomplish. So now in relative cell referencing, to find the total price, you're going to hit equals unit price multiplied by the quantity and that will give you your total price. Now in this entire example right here the total price is going to be the unit price multiplied by the quantity and as we drag it down it will automatically drop um, the cell for the unit price and the quantity at the same time which is exactly what we are wanting. But in absolute cell referencing we want to keep the unit price the same for all of these different quantities. So now, similarly to how we found relative, um, re how we use relative referencing, we're going to start out with equals unit price multiplied by the quantity, and if we hit enter, everything appears to be correct. It is not until we drag down that we realize we have a problem. So to fix this problem, what we need to do is go into the formula it would need to put dollar signs around the column name. So in this case, the column is AC. So we need to put dollar signs around AC, and now that cell will not move. So as we drag down, as you can see, it works now. And the reason why is because this unit price cell does not change. So as opposed to multiplying these cells down here, we're multiplying this cell by this cell, um, and so forth and so on. And that is the main difference between relative cell referencing and absolute cell referencing. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this helpful.